I love how subjective fragrance is, and I also love how when I like a fragrance, other people don't rock with it, and vice versa. Do you know what I like? In this particular brand, so far, I haven't found a fragrance that I can truly wear and enjoy, and that's the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. I'm not a fragrance expert to determine why. A fragrance like Ultramol just gives me a searing headache. My brain hurts! Something about this house, not just this fragrance, any buff torso with a crotch rocket, just doesn't play well long term off my skin. So when Dumas and Perrin sent me a fragrance saying that it's somewhat inspired by the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans slash Ultramar lineup, I'm like, yeah. That's all I had to say about that. But in actuality, it's not. Let me share with you why. Let's roll my fucking music so I can stop holding this dude's crotch so the bottle doesn't fall out of my hand and give me even more of a headache. I'm just preparing. <laughs> We're all alone in the land of the year that's a friend from the top five in case you can't out of all your friends I wanna be Uba! Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to the perfume box response in today's video and sending this fragrance over for review. Now that budget cheapy is nitro green. I've gotten my hands on the majority of the nitro line and what I'm gathering from the line is as follows. Up and coming budget hybrid brands that are super cheap with really solid performance, more so catered to the younger demographic in my opinion. I feel like the majority of the fragrances that I smell from the lineup reach at like a 35 five age year bracket max to under. I say the sweet spot for these gems are literally like 18 to 25. When you're young, dumb, and full of you know. Hercules! <laughs> But the majority of the fragrances that I smell from the house have been on some hybrid, tribrid type situation, only this one was indicated that it was going to be inspired somewhat in the ultra mall space. Now that already turned me off, cause I, I just can't do Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances. I wish chemically or perfumer or something can tell me what specific note in here garners that brain piercing headache that I get from this scent profile. It's not the vanilla, it's something chemically that just doesn't agree with my skin that makes it really unpleasant to wear. But this is a wildly popular fragrance with dudes and women alike. So with Nitro Green, I was already super reluctant in trying it out. It's not really this, somewhat. What it ended up being is a little bit of the positive parts of Jean-Paul Gaultier with the underlying pineapple-y punch if we wanna throw it into the Aventus space, we kind of, cause anytime you mention pineapple, it's thrown into the Aventus space. But if you take a mild hybrid of a Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol with some wild muddled pineapple mash, that's kind of what you're getting here. There's like a subliminal mule, like the cocktail mule essence that this fragrance has. And again, I don't like Ultramol, I don't like Le Mans, I don't like Le Beau, I don't like any other love whatever fragrances from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this one has only gotten one full wear and I didn't get a headache throughout the day. So for me, that's a win right from Jump Street. But you do get the essences of the Jean-Paul Gaultier. There's a muddled pineapple. You get this really earthy amber scent profile coming out of this joint. You get a nice, fresh, clean lavender essence. And of course, that ultra thick and dense vanilla. It's like a thick, milky essence of vanilla as opposed to like some fragrances to my nose, I interpret them like vanilla extracts. Now for me, the opening on Nitro Green was a little bit challenging because it does have elements of JPG and the trauma in my brain just didn't get past that. But the mid and dry down portion is when it started to get interesting. The pineapple muddled note started coming up with a little bit of a minty essence. It has an almost cocktailish type energy with a lot of fruit mixes, minty freshness, and again, that thick vanilla kind of consistency to this joint. This balling on a budget cheapie is definitely mass appeal clubby style fragrance, not necessarily a signature scent in my personal opinion, more of a clubby going out scent profile. A decent amount of woody attributes in this fragrance, I got about a six and a half to seven an hour performance mark for a $30 fragrance, not horrible at all. It was a pretty good fragrance overall, but didn't blow my doors off. Again, it's more trauma in my brain about the Jean-Paul Gaultier DNA-ish, but these other contributing notes and essences that I'm getting out of this profile really make it a lot more wearable than any Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance that I've experienced. Again, this is personal taste. So for me, Nitro Green is definitely 18 to 25 in the Jean-Paul Gaultier slash Aventus-ish hybrid kind of situation, but that's truly based off the pineapple note. And I would rate this joint like a solid 6.5. Definitely not to be worn by somebody who looks like myself, but I can see the youth 
enjoying this joint, so it only gets from me that quarter bowl spray. That's it. A little bit of that DNA still bothers me. Am I bothering you? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just come back later. But at least I spent the whole day wearing it without getting a searing migraine. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. What do you think of that scent profile breakdown for a $30 fragrance? Is it your type of energy and are you a JPG fan? Or it's just not your vibe and you don't rock with Jean-Paul Ultra Mall Le Mall fragrances like I do? Ugh. I'll see y'all stitches next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smooches. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>